and today we're going to play a regular blues in A for the ukulele. This is basically the same blues stuff beginners learn on guitar, but it's transposed to the ukulele, so it's in A instead of E. Um, I'm not going to show you exactly what I just played before. I'm going to show you the parts, the different intros, outros, the rhythm, and some licks you can play between the chords. So let's uh, start with some intros. Okay, so the first intro will be this simple lick. But I prefer to play it sliding. To a slide a note you have to start on if I want to play the fourth fret, I will start on the second fret play once and move the finger to the fourth. So instead of playing I'm going to play starting on the second fret and sliding and then in instead of playing the third fret I will play the second and slide again. Open, open and finish a sliding instead of playing third, second, open I will play a slide from the third fret to the second. Uh, okay, so instead of playing, I play and I think it sounds a lot better. And now let's see the second intro we can play. It starts also with a slide. Okay, so what I'm doing is starting with a ring finger, I slide in from the second to the fourth fret of the C string, then I add my pinky to the fourth fret of the A string and start moving those fingers backwards. So and now comes my index fin finger to the first fret and play also E and A strings and finish with an E7. You can play just a downstroke or play up down up. And now comes the rhythm. For the rhythm the first chord will be an A chord because we are playing a blues in A. We're going to play in with our uh, middle finger on the second fret of the G string and first finger uh, yeah, first finger on the first fret of the C string and the rhythm will be okay so I'm playing down strokes all the time and I'm adding my ring finger to the second fret of the E string I play twice without the ring finger and then add it play twice and take it off. And I play just one A chord to finish. After playing three times I think you play a D chord. The D chord is is this with an open A string but I play in bearing because it's easier for this blues and I play just the first three notes this would be the G, C and E strings bearing playing with my index the whole second fret and the rhythm will be the same but this time we play twice the first three notes these notes and then we play the the last three notes okay so I'm playing this twice and then this and the rhythm is the same and other thing we can do instead of playing just yes, this rhythm Is 
just add one more note. This will be. Okay, for the A chord, we will play twice A chord, ring finger to the second fret, and then our pinky goes to the third fret. Or you can also move the ring finger to the third fret if you want. For the D chord, we just add our middle finger to the third fret of the A string. And this will make more. This way we can play four rhythms instead of two. Between these two chords, we can play a lot of licks. Um, the easier will be just mute the strings and play mute strings. But we can play also, for example, this is starting on the second fret of the A string, a slide to the third, open third fret of the E string open and finish with the, in the third fret of the C string and I recommend you to do a vibrato kind of little vibrato just move your finger up and down quickly and you will hear that another we can play is starts the same second to the third fret and then play the third fret five or six times or we can also play, this is again 2nd to the 3rd fret, 5th fret, a slide to the 6th, 5th and 3rd. And we can play all these licks between the, the A and D chord. And now let's see some endings. For example, the first one will be...